Hey everyone, really quick video because this is such an exciting thing that I've really been waiting for for forever actually. In the most recent Decent DE1 app beta, we now have the ability to control flow and pressure in the same step. Essentially what you would have to do before if you wanted to have a profile go to the next step based on certain conditions was just make another step. For example, if you had a shot that you wanted to reach a maximum of nine bars before going on to like maybe eight bars, six bars, and gradually decline, what you would have to do is you would have to have made multiple steps in order to compensate for that. Now what you can do is you can just have it all in one step. Let me show you how it works. So I have the tablet here. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. First of all, make sure your machine is on the current beta as well as the uh, most recent software version. Uh, this probably will not be in beta anymore as time goes on, but uh, do that. Then what you'll do is I'm going to use the Rao Allonge as my uh, example profile because it's kind of my favorite profile recently for uh, straight espresso or not even espresso. I, I mean, it's like a hybrid espresso, but I really like it. And what we'll want to do is go into the advanced tab here. You'll see that we have one, uh, this is only one step and it's an advanced profile because we now have access to all of this stuff here. And what you'll notice is there is now an additional section here, if I can show you here. It's not even an additional section, but before if you wanted to adjust uh, pressure or flow, you would have to pick between them. You would have to be like, I want this machine, to, I want things to be set to one flow or one pressure. You can never have both. Now we can have both. So what does that actually mean? Well, previous to this, if you wanted your pressure, your shot to say decline, if you hit a certain value, you would use move on if down here. Uh, so say you wanted a shot to always decline once it hits like nine bars, you would just have to make a lot of steps. Now what we can do is we can have the machine do it by itself. So it is now in here and we can just have it say flow at four and a half mils per second, but once you limit at not once you hit nine bars decrease the flow essentially so what will happen is uh it will basically make sure your shot never peaks above nine bars and that really ensures that your at least in this profile things don't taste i guess that bad if you truly mess up your grind size if you wanted to do some more adjustments to this what you would do is at the bottom here which you can't see because of android there's a limits tab you click the limits You'll see, you'll notice this here. This is new, the uh, limiter range of actions. Uh, I haven't fully fu explored this, but essentially what this is, is this is like a uh, deviation. So for example, if the machine detects that you hit nine-ish bars or around that area, it could potentially peak or lower based on 0.7 bars, or in this case, 0.6 mils per second. It's kind of a deviation. Uh, this doesn't really happen unless the first part of your shot here isn't uh, be like you can't meet that essentially. Uh, so I don't really worry about the limits limiter action part. What I do really like is this. Uh, so now I can basically have the machine do everything in one step here instead of me making like four different steps and keep making like move on by. So for example, if the machine peaks to nine bars, then decline the flow, it will now do it automatically. And let me show you real quick uh, some shots of what happens with and without the uh, uh, interlinking between the flow and pressure limits. So I have turned off pump by flow here, as you can see. So there's no pressure limit. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to grind really fine to show you what happens. Essentially, what will occur with the Rao launch at this value is the pressure just going to spike off. It's just going to be insane because we're grinding really fine. Then what I'll do after is I'll turn on the pressure limit for it to start, basically the machine to start compensating. If I, if my pressure peaks above nine bars, it'll start decreasing the flow and I'll have a shot that well could be drinkable or saved. So I have prepared a shot and uh, what we'll do is I will just begin pulling it right now. And actually I'll show you the data. Basically what will happen is this will just completely go crazy because I ground really fine and the pressure, uh, there's no pressure limit set here.
Yep, so our pressure is literally off the chart, at least with the Insight skin here, because we've gone way too fine, and uh, we're barely getting any liquid. <laughs> uh, so that makes sense. You know, there you go. The profile stopped because uh, I think of time here. If we look at this, that's what happens if you don't have pressure limiter, the pressure limit set within the flow step. Now what I'll do is I'm going to go back into advanced and I am going to turn the pressure limit on. So how you, all you have to do is you just start hitting the, hit, hitting the plus here. It's going to take a while Two nine bars. And let's pull a shot using the same exact grind setting. And what you'll notice if, is that the machine will try to compensate for the fact that, well, my grind is too fine and it's going to try to basically make sure that I don't spike to 13 bar. We have now turned on pump uh, this pressure limit section. So what the machine should try to do is it should try to prevent my pressure from spiking above nine bars. As we see, it's trying here. So instead of it spiking all the way above 13, it has now decreased the flow. And now I'm actually getting some liquid, even though my grind size is so fine. So you can kind of see where, where this is going here. Uh, this is not dialed in. I'll grind one more example. I'll make it a little bit coarser. But as you see, our pressure is not, it's like trying to actually go down to that nine bar limit. And we can see that this is the section where the machine has really tried to compensate. This is a bit of an extreme example because I ground so fine. We let the machine try to compensate by lowering the flow so our pressure did not spike to like 13, 12 and 13 bar. This was a shot we just pulled where we had the pressure limit occur. So obviously if you grind too fine, your pressures will go crazy and the machine did try to compensate for that. So look at this. So that right there is the machine lowering the flow here to compensate for the crazy pressure. Now, if we go here to the first shot, you'll see that we're literally off the chart there. And you'll see at the bottom here, the machine did not try to fully decrease the flow in order to compensate for the crazy pressure, whereas this one did. By the way, if you're curious, the reason why it stops is because our volume is set to 100 mils here. Okay, so I hope you can see why I'm really excited about this. This is basically that safety measure that we can now have that ensures that our shots don't, well, go too crazy. Uh, I really like it for my longer blooming profiles that are very, very grind size dependent. So if I'm just in the range of say that nine to 10 bars, the profile and step will now compensate for that. Uh, overall, you know, quick video, but this is a feature that you should totally take advantage of your advantage of if you're a DE1 owner because you really are missing out if you are uh, trying to keep adding if you're adding all these steps and it's really nice to have that additional safety measure especially if you are using uh, some of these very very grind size dependent profiles now that we have some sort of assistance here within the step it makes dialing in those a bit easier or at least you're not wasting so much coffee because the machine is actively trying to save you from those super crazy high pressure coffee um, you know, the flavors that we don't like. Crazy that there's now an awesome update that just interlinking those two and setting a fail safe now, uh, built in condition to that particular section of the step 
really saves us a lot of time and effort and we'll probably have a lot of shots that now uh, work a lot better. Yeah, the machine keeps getting better as time goes on. This is currently in beta, so you may experience some weird things that happen in the tablet. Uh, but overall, as time goes on, this is something that I'm fully expecting to be implemented. And I'm very happy that the machine is getting better as time goes on. So yeah, thanks for watching. Okay, I did want to showcase a flow profile for you guys. This here is the Innovative Long Pre-Infusion or Slayer Profile. Now the thing with the Slayer Profile is uh, some sometimes you you know, you'll, you'll look at this and you'll be like, what the heck does this mean? Because all you see is just a flow <laughs> parameter. And uh, until you start pulling some, some shots, you won't figure out what the pressure is. Now, what this does is, uh, this profile is we pre-infuse for 37 seconds at one and a half mils per second, trying to simulate the pre-brew pre stage of the Slayer machine. Then you ramp up your flow, which will then generate pressure. The thing is, is oftentimes if you didn't have this limiting uh, pressure option down here, which you will, which I turned on by the way, uh, you will get shots that ramp into 10, 11, 12 bars. So what happens down here is the top bar here limits our overall pressure and our bottom bar down there is kind of that upper and lower limit range that I was talking to you guys about in your advanced profiles. So if I go here and I pick like an advanced profile and we go into here, uh, say I turn on this uh, this flow limit here, you'll you'll see down here in limits, this is the limiter range essentially. So I'm not going to save this, but I'm going to go back to the innovative long pre-infusion. And, and that's really what this is here. So I want my shot to start essentially uh, declining its flow, you know, DE1 fix the problem if the pressure goes above nine bars. In this case, if we rock it over nine or nine and a half, the flow rate should decrease from that two and a half mils per second once the uh, machine is actually, well, trying to build pressure. Uh, but obviously, Slayer Profile, so we're pre-infusing at one and a half mils per second. And then once this goes up to two and a half mils, we should be able to see um, <clears throat> a decline in pressure if our grind size is fine enough. Okay, so now we're seeing a pressure increase because of our flow. And you'll see right there, the machine tried to compensate just a little bit by reducing the flow. And we're at that nine bars and now it's decreasing. So this is a, an example of if we were to grind a little, like if I didn't have the uh, pressure limit set there, at this point there, our pressure would have probably skyrocketed above nine bars into say like 10 or 11. Uh, but this is just a quick example to show you that, yeah, the pressure limit here in this profile actually is doing something.